everyone. I have Christina from the town of Silverthorne joining me. Christina, how are you doing? I am well, Kia. How are you today? I'm doing good. It is the middle of July, and before you know it, we're going to be nearing the end of July, deep in summer here, up here in Summit County. And there are lots of activities going on over in the town of Silverthorne. And we were kind of talking about how, you know, you guys have, you know, some of the community favorites of events and activities going on, but you also have a number of new summer activities taking place. So can you just uh, tell us a little bit about those? Yeah. So, you know, we're still carrying on with our signature first Friday event series. We've been and thrilled to welcome our community back in person to these events and we've had a number of really successful ones so far this summer and we're really excited um, for some new first Fridays um, in August we'll be celebrating on top of the parking garage at 4th Street Crossing so kind of a new spin a new location for a first Friday in Silverthorne and um, that'll be a fun event um, Friday, August 6th, um, from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m., we'll have the local band Split Window, um, plus some of the food vendors from Bluebird Market opening later this summer, fall, um, providing food at that event. So it'll be really fun. Um, you know, one of the few opportunities we'll have to gather on top of the parking garage at 4th Street Crossing and really take this local event to a new level. Um, and then following that, we're really excited to welcome the Motet to September 1st, Friday. So we always do that big concert in the park at Rainbow Park in September. And this year, the Motet will be headlining that event. And we can't wait to see everybody out at Rainbow Park in September. And I know everybody's favorite first Friday is the Locals Appreciation Party. <laughs> that one uh, was bet on hold the last two Mays because of COVID and that will be back thanks to the hard work of uh, Locals Liquors in October. Excellent. That sounds like a lot of really great community parties coming up. And yes. I love the uh, the one that's going to be, now that's going to be on t at the very top of the parking garage at the 4th Street Crossing. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So the whole parking garage will be the location for uh, August 1st, Friday, but the band and everything will be on top. Some mm -hmm. of the best views in Silverthorne. So this is a really one of a kind, unique event. And we're really excited to show off uh, 4th Street Crossing and this new parking garage to our residents and visitors. And I know that local band Split Window, that's a 10 piece band. So that's going to be an amazing sound. Lots of different musicians. Yes, in that we one. can't So that wait. will be a fun one. And it sounds like the concerts are just going to keep going on all summer long. And I love that you guys brought back the locals appreciation. Um, now, besides the kind of giving us a heads up of the first Fridays to come, uh, what about the other sort of monthly reoccurring events that uh, Silverthorne has going on? Yes, we're really looking forward to um, our next art stroll. Our Sunday art stroll series continues on July 25th. Um, so we'll have 25 local artists. Um, a ton of different musicians for play will be playing on the uh, stage by the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center. And then we'll have a bunch of additional musicians located along the Blue River Trail between Chipotle and the Performing Arts Center lawn there. So come out, take a stroll, uh, take in the local art and music, and it's a great way to experience art within our community. And I love that one thing about the art strolls that I really like is that you have a number of artists that are actually there, you know, creating art along the Blue River. So you kind of get to see them in action. So it's another very cool. Yeah. Another great Sunday morning event after a brunch or before a brunch. Now, uh, anything else that people should mark their calendars for or just kind of keep in mind as they're enjoying the sunshine and summertime activities up here in Summit County? Yeah, there's plenty of concerts going on from the Summit Community Orchestra to the National Repertory Orchestra. So check the event calendar at silverthorn.org if you're looking for something to do one week. And uh, there's plenty of play ways to play outside in Silverthorn too. So if you've got little kids looking to fish, heading to Trent Park Pond is a great place or if you're paddle boarding, um, rentals on the weekends are available from Colorado Adventure Guides at North Pond Park. and. Uh, walking and biking the Blue River Trail is always a great way to take in Silverthorne. So we'll see you in Silverthorne this summer. Excellent. And of course, going to silverthorne.org, when it comes to those busy First Friday events, people can get tips on parking and public transportation, because I know those will be some Definitely. crowded events as well. <laughs> okay, well, Christina, thank you so much for joining me today. You have a wonderful afternoon. You too, Kia. Thank you so much.